Good day, my friends. Someone asked me to do a tutorial about these works. We can see these are photo engraving with laser on marble or granite. And uh, so we start with some uh, new software we we'll use in this video. The GIMP. You can download from here and Inkscape download from here. Both of these software are free software, so just to use them freely. Okay, first we open the GIMP, and uh, we'll use this photo for example. Drag it into it. The keep. Now we first we go to the color and the curve. Make it a bit brighter so more details from start will be seen okay and then we go to image scale image and we change the unit to millimeter the way make sure <coughs> the width and the height are linked so we make it 100 about this Click here, or changed. Okay, scale. Okay, hold, control, and uh, turn the wheel to zoom in, and then we use the filter, enhance, and uh, unsharp mask. Can. Make it a little bigger. Then set as this. Okay. Then go to image, mode, indexed. Use black and white one bit palette. And uh, here use normal dithering. Then convert. Okay. We go to color, value invert. Okay. This way, what we got at the last. Then we file and uh, export as make give it a BMP extended name. Then export. Okay. Then in this folder. Then this folder we have this photo, and then we will use the uh, Inkscape to make everything down. Okay, in the Inkscape, we drag it into this. Okay. Okay, hold control to zoom in, and then if we use uh, Eclipse here, I make it transparent. You can see maybe the uh, original photo is not high enough. You can see here are some blanks to get a good looking. So we use a rectangle here. Move it together. Maybe yours are like this, had a sharp corner, and uh, we can make it round corner by drag this down. Okay, we move it a little close. Okay, I press Control D to duplicate this rectangle then i hold the shift key and uh, select both the rectangle and the photo then i go to object clip set okay then i have this photo and this rectangle control z okay now we'll add more 
things in it. A pattern and a frame. First I select the frame only, then I go to object or pass break apart. I can select the inner stroke delete it. I select the outer one, give it a uh, I mm, select it and then I press end button on keyboard to send it to the very bottom of all the drawings and uh, zoom in I select the stroke and uh, hold the shift key to give it a little bigger and I gave it hold the shift key to left click the white color to give it a looking so we can see it here. Okay, we get with a white field in and then we use page down on the keyboard to send it behind the photo but in front of the black frame here. Okay. Then I press control shift A to cut off these two, aligned two, then I, you can see here the really relative to last selection. So, we'll select the frame, then hold the shift key, select the photo, and do the center. Okay. And then we zoom out and get this in. Hold the shift, hold the control button to zoom it with the ratio moving. Oh, I can see it. So give it a white color. Okay, it's much better now. I need some text here. We'll tap it here. Drawn. There. Can I see them? We press Control A to select them more, and then give them the white color. Move it in. Resize it. I use this text work and uh, to give it some font effect. Apply. Make it a bit bigger. Then hold the shift key, select the photo. Line distributes, make it center. Okay. And then this one, move it a bit like this. Bigger. Okay. Control D. Hold Control key. Move it here. Okay. Select them together. Control G to group them together. Then hold the shift key. Select the text to make it center again. Okay, and here another text. Give them the white color. Move it down and also change the font. Make 
make it smaller and then make it center here <coughs> Okay, and uh, I resize the page to the drawing size. Then we Export document as the page. Press the export button. Then in the folder, we have this. Mm, I think we lost the frame shape here. So I'll do it again. Delete it and then practice background color. I give it uh, white color. Then export again. Okay, we have the frame shape mm, exported. Okay, then in the laser work, we import this photo. Preview. Okay. So you can compare with the photos we see before. I think now we got this down. You can just uh, use the laser work to output uh, this work uh, to your laser machine. Uh, we can print it on all kinds of black backgrounded material such as marble, granite, or even transparent acrylic. Then you put the acrylic on something black. Then you can see the a uh, very good effect. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.